Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Um, welcome. Would you like a piece of gum? Mmm. <laughs> I'm sorry you caught me in a weird time. I was just finishing up um, a mandala that I was trying to make. One of my clients actually painted this for me. It was really cool. My name is ASMR Mermaid. It's very nice to meet you. We're going to take care of you today, get you all set up. So, first things first. Um, I know I saw that you helped yourself to some water, which is excellent. And I also want you to, if you haven't already, please take your vitamins. <laughs> okay, great. Alright, so um, just so that we're all on the same page to write out what my plan is for you today. I know that I have spoke to, spoken to you on the phone, um, so I'm really glad that you actually were able to come in. That's excellent. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get you signed in. Okay. Um, then we're going to take an inventory and call that the clean sweep. We're going to talk about that in a second. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to read you my favorite quote that really helped me get through some hard times. We're going to set you up with a notebook or some goal setting. Um, we're going to practice a few goal setting techniques. And then we're going to practice some gratitude strategies. Okay, so that is our plan for today. Any questions so far? Great. I'm gonna take care of you. That'll be good. Um, a candle in here just to get um, the mood a little bit nicer. I also have, this is a salt block and I really love it. <laughs> I can get it to work. I can't get this match out. Hmm. much light right now. I'm going to move this over. Okay. So let's get you signed in. Um, my keyboard is connected over, so I'm just going to use this. All right. Hold on one second. I just got to get this set up. Okay. Um, first of all, how do you spell your full name? Okay, but you'd like to be called. Uh -huh. Go ahead, and your current address. And this session is actually free. Nothing will be billed to you, just so that you know. 
And best number to reach you. Okay, very good. Um, and just for my benefit, how did you find out about me? Go ahead. I hope you don't mind. I'm going to be asking you a lot of questions today. That's all for that. Hopefully that wasn't too intrusive. So we already finished the first thing on our list. Next up, um, I'm going to do an inventory with you to go through your life. And the way this works, my nose being weird. The way that this works is I will be going um, over some questions and you're going to tell me honestly whether or not that applies to you at this current moment and not just this current moment but in general does this usually apply to you if it's not something that you do all the time for instance if it says do you wash the dishes as soon as you Eat or after you're done eating and you do that maybe like once or twice and the rest of the year you haven't please do not put that down because that would not be an accurate representation of how you currently are and we're going to eventually down the line take a similar or the same survey again and see if um, your answers have improved and they will we'll get you there um, What we're going to do eventually we're going to take the points that you get and we're going to color them in so that by the end of our sessions here you will have all of these checked in so wherever we start from we start from it's not a big deal okay so First thing we're going to start with is the physical environment. Please do not feel judged by any of this. Um, I've taken the same survey and I can tell you that when I first started out, I had almost no check marks. It's very hard for me and it's hard for some of my clients to see that. Okay, so the first thing is my personal files, papers, and receipts are neatly filed away. Okay, so what I want you to do is just answer yes or no to each question. Um, take as long as you want to think about it, okay? So no for that one. All right. My car is in excellent condition. Doesn't need mechanical work, repairs, cleaning, or replacement. Okay, so it needs a light fixed. I'm just going to write that down so we know. Okay. My home is neat and clean, vacuumed, closets clean, desks and tables clear, furniture in good repair, windows clean. Was there any of those that you think you were really good at that you don't need help in? Because I could circle that. The furniture in good repair. Okay. Very good. Um, my appliances, machinery, and equipment work well. Refrigerator, toaster, snowblower, water heater, toys. So you have a leak in your sink, or under the sink. Okay. I'm just writing it so we have it. And the door? What's wrong? Uh, the door needs a new, um, new glass in it. Okay, I'm just going to put door. Needs glass. Okay. My clothes are pressed, clean, and make me look great. No wrinkles, baskets of laundry, torn, out of date, or ill fitting clothes. That was, <laughs> I know you're just laughing at it. That was a really hard one for me. As you can see, I, I actually wear very loose fitting, easy clothing. And 
I got rid of a lot of my dress shirts just because that's not even my style and it was so hard for me to maintain that um, but don't get me wrong my clients are able to wear whatever outfits they want by the end of my class they are looking fly okay um, next up my plants and animals are healthy fed watered getting light and love okay so your cat is but you want to spend more time on her <laughs> okay um, so more time on cat And how about, um, did you have any uh, houseplants? Okay, they all died. The cat pushed them over. Oh, so maybe if you spend more time on the cat, it won't get jealous of the houseplants and you'll be okay. Um, yeah, I really highly suggest getting houseplants. Um, it's very helpful, even on your desk at work. Very, very helpful. Okay, my bed, bedroom, um, bed slash bedroom lets me have the best sleep possible. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so you don't have a bed frame. Okay. Or not a frame, what is it then? Okay, I got you. I live in a home apartment that I love. Home or apartment that I love. Do you live in a home or an apartment? An apartment, okay. Do you like it there? Okay, all right, so there's a few things that can improve on it. Um, I surround myself with beautiful things. Even just little stuff. I picked this up just because I thought it was so cute. Um, but really, just things that you love. No? Okay. Um, I live in the geographic area I choose. No, you don't like it there? Okay. Where would you like to live if you had a place you can live? Cali or Oregon, so like the West Coast. Okay. Um, there's ample and healthy light around me. Yeah, you think there's enough light? Okay. Check that one off. I consistently have adequate time, space, and freedom in my life. You're going to say no, you're not that good at managing time. Okay. And there's people around you that make it hard. All right. I am not damaged by my environment. You're gonna say no to that one, okay. I am not tolerating anything about my home or work environment. You think home is good, but you need to clean it, okay. What about work? It's not that needs improvement. Okay. My work environment is productive and inspiring. Synergistic, synergistic, ample tools and resources, no undue pressure. Okay, so you think possibly? So X to that one. I recycle. No, okay. I use non-ozone depleting products. Okay, so you do that. Okay. My hair is the way I want it. You want dreadlocks? Oh, very cool. I surround myself with music, which makes my life more enjoyable. Okay, so you, you do that. My bed is made daily. No? Alright. I don't injure myself or bump into things. Okay, that's a big one you want to work on. You don't want to be injured. I drink purified water. That's very important, okay? 
I have nothing around the house or in storage that I do not need. That was my biggest issue as well. Okay, so that's something you really, I'm gonna put a star by it because that's like a big one. Okay, you really wanna work on. I am consistently early or easily on time. You're usually on time, but not, I'm not gonna put that on then. Okay, so total we had one, two, two checked. That's okay. So we're gonna go on to the front here. And we're going to fill in two. Okay, very good. All right. Um, next thing, we're going to talk about health and emotional balance. I rarely use caffeine. Chocolate, coffee, colas, tea, less than three times per week total. Okay, so you can check that one. I rarely eat sugar, less than three times per week. All right, so we'll put a big no to that one then. <laughs> Oops, sorry about that. All kinds of noises going on here. Um, I rarely watch television, less than five hours per week. Yeah, you can say yes to that one. Okay. Very good. I rarely drink alcohol. Less than two drinks per week. Yes to that one as well. Very, very good on this one. Doing good so far. My teeth and gums are healthy. Have seen dentists in last six months. Um, you haven't seen a dentist, but you think they're healthy. Okay. And why do you think that? You brush and floss. Okay. My cholesterol count is healthy. Yes, very good. I'm glad that you even know that. Some people do not. I've had a complete physical exam in the, la in the past three years. Yes, you have. My blood pressure is healthy. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's low. Okay. Is that hypo or something like that they call it? Okay. I do not smoke tobacco or other substances. I do not use illegal drugs or misuse prescribed medications. Yes, that one too. Okay. I've had a complete eye exam within the past two years with a glaucoma check and a vision test. Very good. My weight is within my ideal range. Okay, very nice, yes. My nails are healthy and attractive. Okay, so no to that one. Um, I don't rush or use adrenaline to get the job done. No to that as well. Yeah, I know that's, that's a hard one. I have a rewarding life beyond my work or profession. You're going to say no at the moment. Okay, that's all right. We'll get you there. I have something to look forward to virtually every day. Not at the moment, besides your cat. Well, okay, we, we want something bigger than that, I think, but your cat is awesome as well. Um, I have no habits that I find to be unacceptable. You have a few you will talk about, okay. I'm aware of the physical or emotional problems or conditions I have, and I am now fully taking care of them all. So you're not doing much for, you have, okay, pain in your stomach that you're not sure about. Okay. I consistently take evenings, weekends, and holidays off and take at least two weeks of vacation each year. Yes to that one. <laughs> okay. I have been tested for the AIDS antibody. Okay, that's very important. You want to get tested for that. I use well-made sunglasses. Okay, definitely try that as well. I do not suffer. Okay, you think at this point you kind of are? I floss daily. Alright, so we could check you off on that one. I know you said before you did that. I walk or exercise at least three times per week. Very good, you do yoga. Okay. I hear well. Not so much. 
I know, I'm getting there as well. All right, let's count you up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So over here. Gonna fill you in. So you don't have a long way to go on this one. You're almost to the top. And that was for your health and emotional balance. Now we're gonna talk about your money situation. Do you currently save at least 10% of your income? No, okay. All right, and I understand, that's fine. So you said you might be answering no to a lot of these, that's fine, that's fine, I understand. I pay my bills on time virtually always, most of the time, but we're gonna not check it until it's really, you feel confident about it. I know how much I must have to minimally financially have to, <laughs> I can't talk. I know how much I must have to be minimally financially independent, and I have a plan to get there. Okay, so not yet, we'll get you there, good. I just needed a good starting point here. I have returned or made good on any money I borrowed. So you're good on that, very good. I have written agreements and am current with payments to individuals or companies to whom I owe money. So you said, yeah, you're good with that. I have six months living expenses in a money market type account. No, I'm not, okay. I live on a weekly budget that allows me to save and not suffer. <laughs> okay, it's all right. All my tax returns have been filed and all my taxes have been paid. Not yet. Okay, well, you still have a little bit of time for that. Okay. I currently live well within my means. Not quite, you're always, okay. Yeah, I know, that's very hard because sometimes it's like you think you're saving, you're saving, and then you want to splurge, but you don't realize that, you know, it's not really helping. I have excellent medical insurance. Oh, good, you think? Okay, very good, excellent medical insurance is great. My assets, such as your car, home, possessions, and treasures, are well insured. Yes. I have a financial plan for next year. You're getting there, but not quite. Okay, we're gonna help you with that. I have no legal clouds hanging over me. Okay, good with that. My will is up to date and accurate. Okay. Um, all right, so not on that one yet. Any parking tickets, alimony, or child support are paid and current. Okay, so we're good with that. My investments do not keep me awake at night. Not quite. You're a little, okay, so I know how much I am worth. Uh, literally how much money you have and how much is coming in and all that. Okay, no. I am on a career professional business track that is or will soon be financially, personally rewarding. Not quite. You don't feel like you get your money for it. Okay. My earnings are commiserate with the effort I put into my job. No, okay. I have no loose ends at work. No, okay. I am in a relationship with people who can assist in my career or professional development. Okay. Um, I rarely miss work due to illness. No, you get sick a lot? Okay. I'm putting aside enough money each month to reach financial independence. Not quite, you're not sure how to get there. Okay. My earnings or outpace inflation consistently. No, okay, so total you had seven. Let's look back on our chart. So we're gonna go to seven. And the last one is, and that was money that we just did. This one is relationships. Oh, don't worry, it's not as intrusive as you think. 
Okay. I have told my parents in the last three months that I love them. Yes, good for you. Very good. Um, I should have asked if you, you know, if your parents are alive and all that first, but okay. Um, do you have siblings? All right. I get along well with my siblings. Okay, very good. See, you have two already. <laughs> I get along well with my coworkers and clients, or clients. Okay. okay, you could do better with your clients. All right, I'm gonna sort of circle the coworkers because I think that's really good. Um, I get along well with my manager and staff. Okay, yes, you're doing great. <laughs> There is no one who I would dread or feel uncomfortable running across in the street at an airport or party. You'd say yes, there is. Okay. I put people first and results second. Yes. All right. I have let go of the relationships that drag me down or damage me. Let go means to end, walk away from, stay, handle, no longer be attached to. So you're not quite there yet. You have a few that are bothering you still. I have communicated or attempted to communicate with everyone who I have damaged, injured, or seriously disturbed, even if it wasn't my fault. You have some work to do on that, okay? I do not gossip or talk about others. You definitely need to work on that, okay? And I think that's one, the more you love and the more you feel love for other people, you know, the less you're gonna have to worry about that at all. I have a circle of friends and family who love and appreciate me for who I am, more than just what I do for them. All right, we'll work on that. And that part of that is really showing them you, because you say no, but maybe they don't even know the real you. Um, I tell people how they can satisfy me. Not quite. So you want to be more open with them. All right. I'm fully caught up with letters and calls. Yeah. Okay. I always tell the truth no matter what. No. Okay. Yeah, there's some difficult situations out there. That sometimes it's difficult. Um, I receive enough love from people around me to feel good. Um, it's a guess to that one. I have fully forgiven those people who have hurt, damaged me, deliberately or not. So you're not quite forgiven yet, okay. I'm a person of his or her word, people can count on me. So you say, yeah, they can count on you, okay. I quickly clear miscommunications and misunderstandings when they do occur. So you're not good at that. You kind of end up fighting. All right. Got you. Um, there is nothing unresolved within the past or with past loves or spouses or exes or whatever. Okay. So you've got a few things to resolve there. All right. Um, I live life on my terms, not by the rules or preferences of others. Okay, so you have a few things you would change. All right. I am in tune with my wants and needs and get them taken care of. Okay, all right. So you think you know yourself, your needs, but you're not really getting them to be cared for. Um, I do not judge or criticize others. That's another one. All right, you'll work on that. I do not take personally the things that people say to me. That's a big one. All right, so you'll work on that one as well. I have a best friend or soulmate. Yes, you do. Oh, that's great. Okay. I state requirements rather than complain. Okay, you'll work on that. I spend time with people who don't try to change me. Not yet. Okay, well, let's count these. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them. I think if I count correctly. And if not, I'll give you this paper so you can fix anything like that. So we're at eight. And you're gonna see that by the end, all of these 
will be filled in. Okay, very good. So total you had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Total you had 29 filled in. Very good. So your points for today are 29 points. Okay. I'm going to give you that paper. And you can see there's um some questions on the back that you can sort of reflect on. All right. We're going to be doing that same inventory once Per month and you're going to see how it changes and it's really like a snowball effect once you start on this path um, you're going to be able to check off so many because a lot of them sort of go hand in hand all right so we finished our inventory oh, that marker smells so good I smell it <laughs> okay next up I wanted to do a quick reading with you. All right, so this is a reading from the Orient, I believe. And it's one of my favorite quotes. Um, and you can read the entire thing if you want. You would just type in, I will persist. That's a really good quote. It says, I will persist until I succeed. I was not delivered unto this world in defeat, nor does failure course in my veins. I am not a sheep waiting to be prodded by my shepherd. I am a lion, and I refuse to talk, to walk, to sleep with the sheep. I will hear not those who weep and complain, for their disease is contagious. Let them join the sheep. The slaughterhouse of failure is not in my destiny. I will persist until I succeed. Okay, and that's a quote I love to live by because it's, especially if you're in an environment with um, people who kind of bring you down or all have this certain way of being that's not how you want to be, it helps me separate myself from all that nonsense and really focus on what's important to me and not get dragged down by other people. Okay, next up, um, I have a pile of notebooks in the corner over there. Um, so before you leave, I want you to grab one of those because we are going to make a goal setting journal out of it. And I just quickly wanted to show you a little bit of mine. I made mine so that it's got a folder here that I can keep a few things in. Um, it has a bunch of tabs. On the back, I decorated it just any way I wanted to. Um, I'm working on more decorations in it. And I'm really, I'm writing out a lot of things. I've got all sorts of things going on with it. But um, we'll go through that as we go. I just want you to pick one out today and then we can start um, using that for some goal setting as we go on. I've also got, if you ever want to grab any, I have tons of, so I completely forgot to tell you, but you can take as much of this as you want. I have a pile of it um, behind you. And anytime you feel stressed throughout the week, you can just pop some bubble wrap because it's awesome. <laughs> um, our next thing on our list is working on a goal and I'm going to have you um, take this home and it's got some goal strategies on it. Um, we can actually meet in a later session and really go through all of it but for now I just want you to get um, brainstorming some of your goals so that we can Finally, I want you to pick out um, a person that you are very grateful for 
and you can pick any color you want in here. Okay. Oh, you think the turquoise? All right, so I'm gonna give you that. So you do have a little bit of pearl mark. Um, let's get you an envelope here too. Okay, so I want you the next time to write out this thank you card. You do not necessarily have to send it to that person yet, but I do want you to physically write it out what you're thankful for. All right, and I will see you next week. Okay, so And um, on your way out, okay, make sure to grab some more bubble wrap in the notebook. Um, if you want a water refill, you can also get that as well. And Sasha, my secretary, is up front at the desk and she will schedule your next appointment, which I'm hoping will be um, about a week from today. So that'll give you some time to think about your goals and all that. Right, let me blow out this candle. Oh, I love how waxy it is. It smells so good. Okay, thank you so much for coming in. I'll see you next week.